This is Andy Mills and I'm here with some more Death Stranding tips and tricks. All right, today's tip is to rush the construction of the roads. It makes everything easier, it makes everything easier. So I'm in the second area, the Lake Knot City area. And I'm sure you notice as soon as you get there, you see these auto pavers everywhere and you don't, you know, if you've probably seen them, you probably like, okay, that's a lot of materials. I'm not gonna waste time on it. But I'm gonna show you uh, a pretty easy way if you haven't found it or haven't discovered it yet. Obviously, the first way is the manual way of going to each distributed uh, each distribution center or uh, one of the prepper stations or prepper shelters. And you can just take their materials, claim their materials, and that's what I'm going to do for this lot, this the one that I'm going to build right now. Hop on out. I already claimed the material from uh, the the south distribution center. Right up to this thing, and just just donate your materials. Oh, it's in the truck. Let me do that. I don't like how the truck has to be super close so you can like put it inside of that. Okay, let's get that. I don't have time for that. No, the truck was uh, the truck was too far, so it couldn't get the material. So let me just pick it up. Back. Firm. I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet. Uh 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 uh. uh. There you go. All right now, here we go. Bam bam bam. And materials, I'm over a little bit, so I don't really care that much. All right, I don't like to skip this part because watching the the road be built is one of my favorite things. It's very it's very uh, satisfying for some reason. Like look at that. Uh, and boom. And obviously, there's more. I haven't completed all the roads, but. I would say definitely rush it. If you get into a new area and you see it, rush to it. Uh, you don't know this, at the, at, as of right now, the benefits are obviously easier transportation over rough terrain and it charges your battery. It charges your battery slow, but it also, uh, while you're on it, you don't use batteries, so that's easier to travel around. I mean, usually people like on your server, on your connected servers from uh, other players, they put generators next to the road. So if you're getting low, usually your battery kind of like creeps down if you're boosting on the highway, which is what I usually do. But also, on, let me jump in this. Another thing to note is that I know I was saying you, the power grid is on the, God damn it, the power grid is on the road, but it's actually only on the middle of the road. So if you ver off, veer off of the middle of the road, you don't get any power. So see how I'm in that, that gray area? Now let me go to the dark area. I'm not on the power grid anymore, if I stay to the side. So make sure you want to stay like at least one wheel on, see? You have to get into that energy zone. And they don't really tell you that. Anyways, now I'm going to show you... Oh shit, I just ruined that package. Whatever. Now I'm going to show you the easy way of without... Not easy way, but like... Without taxing your your distributor center, so you don't have to potentially dry up your materials from your your outposts, and that is maybe you got a hint from it from how I got the cargo truck. You go to the mule area. They usually in this area this this mule encampment doesn't have much, but this mule encampment I think is known to have cer uh, ceramics, a lot of ceramics, and this one is known for metal. If I at least in my gameplay it was, I don't know if it's like that in every other buddy in everybody else's gameplay. So uh, actually, that was a turn off right there. So and you can just pick up you can just pick up these uh, little these little materials on the ground too. I mean that can help. But it's easier if you go to the mule encampment, take their truck, engage them all, just wipe them out. Someone left their bike there, how nice. Engage all the mules, take them out. You have free range to all the materials. And ceramic is, is the more, it's the more difficult material to get in this area. And then that's followed by uh, the special alloy, which is unlocked a little bit later. So now I uh, alerted all of them. And they're gonna send people to me. But if you have your rope, if you have your strand and a bolo gun, it's easy to take them all out, I promise. 
Now they're gonna head this way. Let's go, bitches. Here they come. Gonna get off. What? How did I miss? Got one. Got him. Got him. And then, uh, if you don't. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. You don't, you just strand his aim and then wait for him to attack. And then press R. R2. Then you can CQC him. Take his materials. Hey, look. Look at all this material they have on him. Let's go, bro. CQC. I don't care about your ladder because you suck. Take this. The guys that are like just like roped up and out of conscious, knock them out. Get this guy. What's up, bro? What? Oh man, I didn't time it right. Let's go. Come on. Here we go. Think you see? If you know, if you don't know, what CQC means just uh, close quarter combat. That's basically from Metal Gear Solid Five. It's pretty much the same animation. What? Oh, he. Oh, see, I, did, I just found something out. If you don't knock them out in time when they're tied up, hey, come on, done. That guy's back up. And you don't really need to, like. If there's only one person, you can just, like, spam square and then two rotations, you'll knock them down. There you go. I don't think that's everyone, but that's. Most of them. Okay, we have two more, three more. Look at that. Look at all that ceramic and metal. That's literally what you want to do. But I think I'm going to steal their truck because I think their truck's better than my, better condition than my truck is. Let me check. No data. Why well, don't I have any data? Well, my truck is like brand new. Never mind. Let's go. I'm right here. Gotta call them out, you know. I am. One. Two. Great. There you go. Pick up his ceramic. Pick up his metal. Pick up his ceramic. Pick him. Uh, and I think that's it. Yeah, porters will temporarily be able to traverse this area. So now they're cleared out. When you get that sign, that's when you know the a mule encampment is cleared out. And it's pretty easy. Like they make it seem like it's a really tough thing that you should avoid, but it's not. I especially when you have the bolo gun, you can take on a huge group of them. But if you have the strand, if you if you just outplay them, just be patient, you can take out a you can take out a whole encampment. Land on load it onto the vehicle, confirm. There you go. Let me just uh, hop in the truck. Let me just roll around to, I can show you just a little bit more. Um, so along with encampment, they have materials in there. These little mule outposts or post box have a decent amount of material in them as well. If not, they have pretty good lost cargo that you can return and you get good experience points or likes or whatever from that and you can Gain some potentially gain some porter grade from it. Just unlock it. Yeah, look. Ceramic, ceramic. I don't really care about resin. Uh, why not bullet gun? Because I just use all of my ammo. But yeah. There. I usually just want to load up. You don't want to come back here later and then you know, just go out of your way. And this guy is great because he put a generator here. What kind of material is that? Oh, ceramic. I'm coming for it. I'm coming for you. Get out. 
Oh my gosh, I pressed it too many times. There we go. Embarrassing. Ceramic, ceramic. Ooh, that's a big boy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here we go. Oh, oh, it's good. Oh, I love that. It does that. The, the uh, if your stack goes too high, the ceiling will knock it off. As apparent. Put on to vehicle. Oh. Go back over here. Pick these up. Ba -ba -da -ba. So again, like I said, this encampment is known for its ceramic, and the other one is known for the metal, or it tends to have more metal. So if you if you need metal, if you need metal, go to this one. If you need ceramic, go to this one. This one does this one over here doesn't really have much. And this is just for this central region. Um, and I guess right now I can just load it onto this place right here. Yeah, see how this one needs a lot of metal, but I'll just. Uh, for the sake of the video, I'll just go ahead over there right now. Bridge to here to here. All right. And if you like, say if you're not even using it for the road, if you're running low on materials at any one of your Distributors, distribution centers, you can just walk on over here, kick their ass real quick, and then take all the stuff. I promise you, you will not be able to take all of their, their materials in one truckload. I've tried it, and it's, it does not work. But anyways, let me boost up. This is also a good way if you're trying to build safe houses. Uh, aluminum, or aluminum, safe alloy. Special alloy, goddamn. <laughs> it's early, forgive me. Um, special alloy, I don't think, since I just discovered it in the game, um, I don't think they're they're gonna let, allow me to find that much about special alloy just yet. Maybe it's a little bit more south, but I just haven't found it. But I made sure to park on the stair steps so that I don't have to take all the material out of the actual truck. All right, so let's put some. The rest of the chiral crystal. Uh, this, grab that. Da, 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 da. All the metals. I'm not gonna get all of them. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. You guys know that song? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, see, look. This thing requires so much. But, I mean, compared to where it was. Closer. Now all I have to do is we take one more trip back to that encampment. Then I go to the the one with the metal. We're getting on over. That might take two trips too, but the road is so worth it. it makes everything easier. Traversing, bringing up cargo and all that. So, uh, if you found this video helpful, please leave a uh, hit that subscribe button. Leave a like. Leave a comment. If I miss something, please let me know. Uh, I'll definitely. I look at all my comments, even the weird ones. There's been some weird people commenting, but uh, thank you very much. Have a great day, guys.